15th annual flying display and exhibition at Farnborough again attracts visitors from all over the world, except the Iron Curtain countries. Lorry carrying transports, fighters like these Delta Wing Javelins, all shapes and sizes of aircraft are on show in this aeronautical shop window. The Delta Wing Vulcan on the left and the Valiant, two of our high-speed bombers, are exhibited, but there's no sign of the new P-1 fighter or the wingless flying bedstead. They're right at the top of the secret list. A new research aircraft is the short SB-5, which has variable wings. Top attraction is perhaps the Comet 3, the newest development of the record-breaking airliner. Standing close by is its forerunner, the Comet 2. Now for the flying display. A Vulcan dwarfs the Folland Midge, the world's first light jet fighter. And there's the Vulcan away. Already this long-range plane is in production for Bomber Command. Also on order for the Royal Air Force is the Valiant, a medium bomber. A fairy gamut taxes out. This anti-submarine aircraft, designed for shipborne operations, is now in service with the Royal Navy. Now for the helicopters. This is the Bristol 173. About 100 are on order for the Air Force and the Navy. Now the tiny Skeeters, which has a normal endurance of about three hours. It's a two-seater. Moving up the scale to a plane that can carry 76 passengers, the Comet 3. Group Captain Cunningham, the Havilland Chief Test Pilot, is at the controls. High above the crowds are de Havilland 110. This sleek all-weather fighter is powered by two Rolls-Royce Avon engines. The little jet provost shows its paces. This is the Air Force's standard jet trainer. Now the fairy Delta, the plane with a tail like a paint scraper. This little aircraft has been built to investigate the properties of Delta wing designs. And here's the Midge in action. Now the Comets, Marks 2 and 3. Nearest the camera is the Comet 3. Now that intensive research seems to have solved the riddles of the Comet 1 crashes, it's hoped these pioneer airliners will soon be back in action. Meanwhile, the Comet 2 has yet to go into service. Nevertheless, the Comet 3, a supreme example of British design and craftsmanship, is scheduled to fly the world's air routes within two years. <laughs>